Hi guys, this is Wizard1 again from Red Flag Deals bringing you the unboxing and full video review of the Xiaomi Mi Band 2. It is currently available from various online retailers ranging from $33 US up to about $50 US. I decided to do a combined video as an unboxing would have only lasted a minute uh, since it doesn't really come with many things. As you know, this is Xiaomi's second attempt at creating a cheap and viable competitor to fitness trackers such as the Fitbit HR. They're very affordable but extremely buggy and inaccurate Mi Band 1S was a huge disappointed disappointment to many people, myself included. Okay, let's just quickly just open the Mi Band up and see uh, what it comes with. After that, we'll go straight into the uh, video review. Okay, so as you can see here, this was packaged exactly the same way as the One uh, S was. You see the tracker on the front. Underneath, we have the fitness band. the manual, the um, dock, USB dock charger, and that's basically about it. Let me just quickly take this out. Okay, so you can see here the way this plugs in for the people who aren't uh, familiar with the uh, Mi Band series. It basically just plugs in like that, and then you plug this into your power source and it charges Okay, just give me a sec just to put this on for you guys. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so this time around, Xiaomi put a small OLED display which allows you the option to display such things as the time, number of steps you have, your heart rate, and your battery life, as much as a bunch of other phone specific notifications which can be selected within the Mi Fit app. The touch sensitive button below allows you to toggle between the various options that you have chosen, as you can see. Um, inside there is a 70 milliamp hour battery which Xiaomi states can last up to 20 days. Um, I've been using this for about 8 days now and you can see here that it's down to um, about 71% which is uh, quite impressive. Um, if we math that out, we're looking about a draw of about 3.5% per day, which works out to approximately 28 days of total usage. Um, this meets and exceeds their claim of 20 days of usage between charges. For those who are concerned regarding the accuracy of this second generation Mi Band, you can be rest assured that they have, for the most part, fixed the bugs from the One S. To give you a quick example, I'm going to show you um, the current count, which is 349. And then let's just give some shake, some shakes, up and down sideways shakes. And you can still see that it's still showing as 349. So you can see you don't have to really worry too much about uh, your everyday movements while you're stationary triggering false steps. Aside from that, there really isn't much else to talk about regarding the technical side of the, um, the Mi Band 2. So I'm going to start talking about the uh, actual Mi Fit app itself. Uh, before I do get into the Mi Fit app, I would like to mention that the Mi Band 2 initially had issues counting steps as it was stuck on zero for quite a few hours. Uh, this was when I was running the uh, Mi Fit 4.1.2, which is available 
directly from the Google Play Store. After some research, I found the fix, which all you need to do is to go to the Xiaomi uh, forums and download the new version of the app, which is 4.1.3. I'll put a link below to the link for the, uh, for the app. After downloading 4.1.3, the app did a firmware update, uh, and it did an update to the Mi Band, which uh, allowed it to start operating normally. Okay, so when you first go into the um, when you first go into the app here, you'll be um, defaulted to the status page. This page shows you the current count you have on the uh, on your on your tracker. It has the sleep tracker, your weight tracker, your heart rate tracker, and your goals tracker. Tapping on each one of these will give you a more detailed page showing your daily summary of what you are looking at. So here you see today's steps. You'll see yesterday's steps, total number of steps, distance traveled, amount of calories burned, and um, when you did your walks. For the sleep one, you'll basically show you uh, how long you slept for, um, your deep sleep versus light sleep, which I only can assume is when you're either tossing or turning or you're staying motionless and how long you slept for. You can see here the number of days and number of hours you've slept for. Your weight, your heart rate, so this is all the tracking for the uh, different heart rates throughout uh, the time I've been using it. And your fitness goals. The next section is the, uh, the play section. So the play section is where you can customize the uh, kind of notifications that will show up on the Mi Band. Uh, you can do a, quite a few notifications with this, including notifications from uh, other apps. You can also click here and you can see you can do uh, incoming call notifications, alarms, apps, um, sitting still applications, um, incoming SMS, and your gold notifications. The last page is the uh, profiles page. And the profiles page here uh, is where you can see um, a summary of your total activities using the uh, Mi Band. Uh, you can check the status of the Mi Band itself and change the settings of uh, of pairing of which hand it's uh, located on. They do suggest that you you pair it to the uh, arm that you is not your dominant hand, and that's basically tells you the firmware and lets you switch on and off the uh, the sleep assistant, which lets you track your sleeping. Uh, they do mention that turning that on, which I've had on since the beginning, it does lo lessen the uh, power, uh, increase the power um, drain on the actual battery itself. But as you can see from the previous calculations, it's still uh, 28 days on, on one charge estimated. You can also see your activity goals, which I've set for 8,000 steps per day. You can set your weight goal, which I don't have one. Uh, you can set the activity status notice, which basically just reminds you to uh, to like check the band. So it's sort of useless. Sleep and then wake, wake notification just tells you to uh, remind you to look at how your sleeping was that night. And your friends um, section here. So if you click on the my QR code, it'll generate a QR code for your friends to scan into their MeFit app, which will allow you to have a little more. Uh, I guess a little more competitive and, uh, and motivation for each one of you in the setting page. You can also choose the, um, the units at which the Mi Band will calculate your, your steps and whatnot. And I think that's basically it for my review of the, uh, the Mi Band uh, 2. So overall, it's a very stylish looking device with a clear OLED display which is very uh, accurate. It has great battery life and is a definitely definite improvement over its One and One S predecessors. I highly recommend this to anyone that is contemplating a Fitbit but has been waiting for an alternative that is more economical. 
Thank you again for taking the time for viewing my review. If you have any questions regarding the Mi Band 2, feel free to post them in the comment section below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. This is Wizard1 from Red Flag Deal signing off and I hope to see you again in one of my next reviews.